handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Saturday. It is the 3rd of December 2022. Going to look the stakes races on the program for the Big A, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Let's look at stakes action races 6 through 9. The 6th race, it is the Demoiselle Stakes. It's a grade 2 event going for a quarter of a million dollar purse. Race for two-year-old fillies here. We have a field of 7 them are that are going around the aqua aqueduct main track uh which is 1800 meters in circumference or a mile eighth on the main track uh top selection you're gonna go with the th three horse julia shining as a top selection let's go three five two one in the superfecta three five two one super top selection three horse julia shining and pardon me if i start yawning th during this video i have to stop doing these videos very late uh in the night because it's starting to get really um you know <laughs> i'm gonna be falling asleep one of these days during one but uh pardon that but the top selection three horse julia shining two year Philly by Curlin, Top Fletcher Trains, Louis Sayez gets the mount. Most recently, in, in, on debut, came on the um, 16th of October at Keeneland, about seven furlongs in the main special way for 100,000. And the horse went by two and three quarter lengths. And didn't have a lot of forwardly pace, sat back early, but really had a stupidly wide trip, but, you know, quickened up nicely, circled the field. I thought it was a very good race. Coming here around two turns can be a tough task, but her debut wasn't bad. We're going to get a lot of rain here in New York on Saturday. I, I think, uh, you know, that should suit her well. And also, I, it wouldn't surprise me if she showed some speed. Her workout patterns, it looks like she can have some speed. Her most recent drill came at 4 furlong work on the train track at Belmont, 49 flat, 38th best out of uh, 123, and a half mile drill, 49 and 1, 42nd best out of 40 at uh, out of 85. So I think she's rearing to go. I'm going to give her a shot. Like I said, that debut wasn't bad at all. The five horse affirmative lady, I think your second likely winner for Grand Motion and John Velasquez. Um, you know, training um, this horse is still a maiden here, but um, has run two decent races. Uh, most recently, Keelan on the 4th of November going 7 in main special weight. She finished 4th by 4 lengths that day. Again, it's a little bit wide from a stupidly wide poster, but she was closing up well. And then on debut at Keelan, 6 furlongs in main special weight. She finished 3rd by 3 and 3 quarter lengths. Not the best beginnings, but she, again, she was closing. She's bred to go a mile late, even a mile and a quarter. Is this the kind of horse right now if you get future wagering for like the Alabama at Saratoga? next August. This is the kind of horse I would bet in that race off the pedigree, but I think she's rearing to go at 10 to 1. You know, a maiden win this race, you know, it's not the most shocking thing in the world. I'll use her in the pick 5 that be begins with this race, but to recount my selection for the 6 from Aqueduct, the Demoiselle, let's take the 3 horse Julia Shining, give kudos to the 5 horse Affirmative Lady, 3 5 two, 1 Super, 3 5 in your multi-race. Seventh race from the Big A, it is the Remsen Stakes. It's a great two event going for a $250,000 purse. Race for two year olds here. We have a field of seven horses going 1,800 meters again or a mile and eighth on the Aqueduct main track. Going to take the two horse, um, Tusky Airman. I'm going to go 2764 in the Superfecta. 2764 Super. Top selection two horse Tusky Airman. This two year old colt by Street Sense. John Service Trains. Luis Sayez gets the mount. Um, one of my favorite horses that I was, uh, last, one of the times I was here, um, on, um, Cigar Mile Day years ago, um, John Service had a horse right after, um, um, Smarty Jones in 2004, uh, Rockport Harbor, I think he won this race, got stupidly overbet in the next few races, I think they took the horse to uh, the same kind of path, uh, at Oaklawn, uh, like they did with Smarty Jones in every race he got overbet, but, um, I do remember him win this race quite easily, um, if I remember him, um, but, uh, Tusky Airman, most recent out of came at Delaware, one mile on the 15th of October in the Rocky Run Stakes, and he won by three and a quarter lengths, he had a little bit of wide trip and a, and a wide post draw. But he settled well towards the back pack. He slowly moved his way up, and he got the job done. An 84 fire, not a bad race. Coming facing the big boys, should definitely get the trick. I'm going to give him a shot here today. Um, two back at Parks on 24th September, Simfrongs and Main Spedgeway. He won by five and a half lengths, and again, he had a little bit of a weird trip that day from mid-pack, but he really closed up well, and he went away with it late. An all-around good race. I like him with a good... um. Uh, good poster here today. Like I said, I, I think he wants to go to the mile and the eighth. I'm going to give him a shot here today. Um, by the way, it's not the world's deepest Remsen. Last two or three runnings of this race have been very, very, you know, could could be grade one quality races the last few years that, that the horse that have been coming out of this race this year more speed desired for me but um i also think the seven horse uh w uh, w onel is your uh, second li likeliest winner for danny gargan and, and jose ortiz uh most recently on the slap going a mile off turf in the main special with the horse went by two and a half lengths and coming from the 
stupid, stupid wide trip. Something, all these horses today, I'm betting, are, have, have come off of stupidly wide trips. Uh, this horse had the widest of all the replays I watched. Eight wide, um, according to the racing form. Uh, I think six wide going off the replay. But he was eight wide that day. Um, but he, you know, he, he grinded it out. He got the job done. A very good race. Debut at Saratoga at, at the beginning of September. Seven furlongs in the main special way. He finished fourth by four, uh, seven three quarter lengths that day. He was a little bit wide. And I thought he just stalked a little bit of a fast pace. They went very fast to that half. But we Freshening here to a mile and eighth. I should have some friendly pace. Training well. I'm going to give this horse a shot. But please do not go six wide like he did last time out here at Aqueduct. But to recap my selection for the seven from Aqueduct, it is the Remsen Stakes. <laughs> I'm going to take the two horse Tusky Airman. Give kudos to the seven horse WNL. Um, two seven six four super. Two seven in your multi race. The eighth race from Aqueduct, it is to go for one stakes. It's a grade two, a grade three event going for a purse $200,000. Race for Phillies Mayors, three year olds, and upwards. We have a field of 11 horses going 1,600 meters or a mile on the main track. I'm going to take here the number 10 horse, Bank Sting. Let's go 10 5 3 7 in the Superfecta. 10 5 3 7 Super. Top selection 10 horse, Bank Sting. Five year old mare by J uh, Central Banker. John Terranova trains. Ho Joel Rosario gets the mount. Horse his most recent outing off the bench came the 10th, uh, uh, excuse me, 30th of October at Aqueducts. Like I said, par mates, uh, you know, very, I've been up for 14 hours, right? Starting, the brain's starting to go. Even the coffee, the giant cup of coffee couldn't help. Um, but I did look at the races uh, yesterday when I had like 10 cups of coffee in, so don't worry. Uh, but um, <laughs> Bank Sting, most recently, 30th of October here at Aqueducts, six furlongs or six and a half in the Iroquois. The horse finished second by one quarter lengths that day, and he was very rambunctious off the bench that day. Um, a little bit wide and closed up well, but you know, might have need the race. Loves running here at Aqua with a dough. Uh, eight for six on the track, so just keep that in mind. Uh, two back in the dancing Renee at Belmont in late June. Six furlongs there. The horse went by five and a quarter lengths and from a track position. A little bit wide, but she got the job done. A very good race there. And then the critical eye at Belmont, one mile 30th of May. The horse finished second by four lengths. She just kind of stalked and just needed the race there. Uh, and then the ruffian at Belmont going a mile. The horse finished fourth by nine three quarter lengths that day and just you know really faced too tough competition but like i said she likes running here she won the heavenly prize over the winter here won the lava dot on a very weird cluppy muddy main track uh, and then won the new york stallions last december very nicely here on this track uh, and then won an officer 40 here on the slop in april 2021 very very easily i think the buyers up to scratch training well at belmont i'm gonna give this horse a shot I think your second likeliest winner here is the five horse Sharapova for Peter Ern and John Velasquez. Hasn't been seen since the Santa Margarita where the horse ran a very disappointing race. Must have give um must have uh, got injured out of that run. Refreshing here today. If you can run a race like the Harry Henson or even the um the race before that Santinia where the horse lost in defeat, you could definitely win against these horses. I think the one turn mile should suit her well. At twelve to one, if she's fresh enough, she could definitely win. Um and also keep an eye out for the um three horse battle bullying for Rob Atras. Uh, one of her last three. I loved the victory two back in the Twix at Laurel. Give this horse a shot also. But to recap my selections for this uh, very deep 10th 8th uh, race from Aqueduct, it is the go for want. Let's take the 10 horse here Bank Sting. Give kudos to the 5 horse Sharapova and the 3 horse Battle Bling. 10-5-3-7 Super. 10-5-3 in your multi-race. The featured ninth race from Aqueduct, the final grade one of the year here in New York. It is a cigar mile. It's a grade one event going for a $750,000 purse. Races for three-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of seven horses going 1,600 meters or a mile on the main track. I'm going to take the two horse Zandon as a top selection. Let's go 2743 in the Superfecta. 2743 Super. Top selection of two horse Zandon. Three year Colt by Upstart. Chad Brown trains. Joel Rosario gets them out. The horse's most recent night came 24th of September at Parks, a mile and eighth in the Pennsylvania Derby, and he finished second by three lengths behind Tabia, who just had the jump on this horse. This horse sat back early, but just couldn't get there late. Refreshing here to a one-turn mile, which I think this horse wants to do, training up to this race very nicely. I think this horse can end the year up on a high note. Two back in the Travers of Saratoga, Monocord, 27th of August. He finished third by five and a quarter lengths that day. And was just very wide and just wasn't catching Epicenter. Epicenter absolutely freaked that day. And uh, basically all summer at Saratoga. This horse just wasn't getting to win. 
And then before then, the Jim Dandy of Saratoga over the mile and eighth. First start back from the Derby. He finished second by one half lengths that day. He stalked. He looked like a winner, but Epicenter just waltzed right by, by him easily. Uh, and then the Derby, he ran a terrific race, finishing third by one half lengths. Uh, he looked like he's going to get a decent second, but, you know, Rich Strike closed up for nowhere. He, he had a little bit of a tough trip early on. Got to the front end. Epicenter had the jump on him. And then Rich Strike just came out of nowhere. But this horse, you know, he, he ran d- great in defeat, I thought. Uh, and then before then, the Blue Rats. He won by two and a quarter lengths that day. A little bit wide, but uh, he, he got the job done. Came here last year in this fixture. Finished second behind Modonical in the Remsen. You know, I'm going to give him a shot here today. Like I said, training up this race very nicely. Don't throw out the old man, the seven horse mind control. A very cool horse the last few seasons. Um, You know, I think he's making his final start today. It's going to be kind of sad seeing him go, but he always runs these good races. Like he did last time out in the, in the park start mile, parks over the mile. He finished second by a neck. He stalked. He had the lead. He got brushed that day. Should he have gotten taken down? You know, with a small margin of victory, I kind of agree with it, but, you know, some other jurisdictions might have said no. But, you know, he ran his heart out there. Um, before then, in the Charlestown Classic, he finished third by four and a half lengths. A little bit wide, but he just, you know, he, he couldn't keep up, but he still ran his heart out again. And when the Salvatore Mile before that, throughout the Churchill Down Stakes, he just wasn't 100% crank there, or even for the Carter. But, you know, if you look at some of the races last year, you, the John Nayrod was a great run at Belmont. And uh, the victory in the Parks Mile 2021, a very nice job there. He likes running here in this track, 7-4. He's a Carter Handicap winner. Um, I believe he won the Carter in 2020, or I believe, at, um, at Belmont or something like that. Or um, 20, 2019? something or I you know he he likes running here um I forgot going through the lines for him but um you know I like you know I'm gonna use him here at five to two um so um you know watch out for him and and like I said it's gonna be kind of you know bittersweet and well not uh sweet it's gonna be bitter seeing him go because he's just a cool horse to watch all the time even if I don't bet him it's just a cool horse uh but to recap my selection for the ninth from Aqueduct it is the Cigar Mile let's take the two horses and and give kudos to the seven horse mind control two seven four three super two seven in your multi-race so good luck to all please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five good luck everybody